Hello, everyone. It is um, Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. This is the weekly meeting for the Kubert community. Um, this is your chance to um, talk with our core developers and discuss any uh, use cases or bugs that you may have come across in the last week. Um, I'm posting our meeting notes right here into chat. So if you get to open up that document and add your attendance, we do track that information. And uh, add any agenda items that you'd like to talk about. Um, and if you don't want to uh, follow along, I'll share my screen so you can follow along through the meeting. Here we go. And while we're waiting for folks to fill in a, an agenda item, um, do we have any new um, new users or members with us this week that would like to make an introduction? Now is your time to say hi. Okay, silence um, and no agenda items. So uh, I'll begin. Um, as a open source community um, and as a community organizer, I've been asked to um, document what a community team, um, what their responsibilities are. So if, uh, if you have any thoughts on what you need from me, what you want from me as a as an organizer, let me know. Um, I have my own ideas and that I've uh, formulated over time, and and uh, from reading from uh, other uh, documents from OpenSource.org and uh, the Cloud Computing uh, Foundation. So uh, I'll be documenting um, what my thoughts this week and, uh, and posting up to the mailing list for public comment. And if you have anything to add, please do so. Okay, um, I guess we can talk about a little bit about um, the progress towards incubation um, with the CNCF. Um, that is still in progress. Um, we got uh, the last uh, last couple items that have been uh, accomplished was uh, we got a, a, a CNCF interview with NVIDIA and uh, with Apple computers which interestingly enough, uh, Elena with Apple is our CNCF sponsor. So uh, that was strange. Uh, feedback was uh, the project is uh, very healthy. Um, we have a great interaction with uh, the community and our end users. Uh, bugs, are, bugs and pull requests are handled timely. Um, great support for for our future set. And that's about all I know. Uh, they keep me in the dark with, uh, with the, the fine details. I really don't even know what the, what the question list is. So you may have answered it already. Um, did, you already did they already have some interviews now? We have uh, with NVIDIA and oh, Apple NVIDIA. computers. I don't do the interviews. The, the CNCF does it. So I just, uh, I, I've been, um, 
uh, data mining our mailing list and uh, and GitHub account or GitHub org for uh, potential end users. It's important that we use an end user and not a vendor. Um, anybody who resells Kubert as a product is considered a vendor. Um, so we have a lot of vendors, <laughs> but uh, the end users are are harder to find. Um, we have something like 475 uh, users of, uh, on the mailing list. And of them, like 225 of them uh, are Gmail users. So then I have to try and, uh, try and decipher what their Gmail account is and see if I can uh, pinpoint a person and a company from a, a, a you know, uh, an obscure uh, handle. It's not an easy process, it takes a lot of time. Uh, so um, there are there are potential uh, end users and I've probably emailed um, like two dozen organizations in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, so if anybody has an idea of who, uh, who would qualify as an end user and also would like to be interviewed by the CNCF, please, it's important to tell me so I can, I can uh, connect them with, uh, with Elena. Hey, Chris, I'll ask a quick question on that one. Um, does it have to be like full production use or can it be like in labs and POC testing and whatnot? Or is it really only going to be like if they're using it for like a full production use case? Uh, they say production, but they don't have a, a solid definition of what production is. Okay. So if a, if a company is uh, doing uh, their product testing on Kubert, then that's pseudo production for them, right? It's, okay. It would impact their business if, uh, if that environment went down. Okay, all right, thank you. Sure. And they, they upped the ante on me. They originally told me they, uh, they would like three, uh, three end users to be interviewed and now they want five, so. Oh. How, how did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I missed the original uh, requirement, but. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I have a, I got a really, there, there's some, we have some really good uh, uh, members of the mailing list. Um, like uh, some really unexpected organizations like uh, ZTE and uh, Tata Communications in India and uh, Hawaii. And it's, uh, I didn't expect uh, uh, those kind of companies to be present here. Uh, Redis Labs was, uh, was another surprise. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that member was doing personal work using his corporate email account. So, but it was a, still a good conversation. <laughs> and uh, I hope I'm, I hope I'm not like sp spamming our list. <laughs> it's always uh, a precarious situation. To, moderator of the mailing list emailing members directly and asking them from, for help. Okay, um, agenda and open floor is still empty. Um, anybody have anything to talk about that's been going on this week? 
I think it was pretty calm, Rich. <laughs> it was calm. Uh, I took a look at the mailing list earlier, and it, there's uh, everything has been has been answered. There's just the the ongoing conversation regarding Zen. And, uh, I've seen it. that. I've seen. Did we have? I wasn't on the meeting last week. What, did we have a follow up there? Uh, I saw it on the meeting notes. No, there, there was just a follow up uh, from Arm saying uh, thank you for uh, for ah. addressing our 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 feature, and we'll be uh, uh, taking all the feedback and uh, working through it on okay, on their great. end. Yeah, it's really nice. And then. Okay, David Vassal is dropping away. Uh, well, let's get right into uh, Edomar's pull request. Hey, Chris. Um, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Okay, great. Um, so I've talked about this uh, pull request a couple of times before, but um, it's still there and we're still discussing it. Um, so basically, these are our policies. Um, migration policies that you can apply to uh, uh, groups of VMs. There is a discussion of on how to specify the groups on which to apply the, the policies. And um, yeah, everyone are welcome to take part in the discussion. Um, it's very interesting. And uh, yeah, that's it. Looks like Roman's been helping you out with that. That's true. But seems like you need to follow up, <laughs> or I don't know. Sure. Okay, it seems still stuff to be open, which. <laughs> okay, but well, don't be too worried here. Um, the the design documents, um, they they've been taking time to uh, to get to merge. So we're only 15, 16 days into uh, into this pull request. Yeah, and, uh, also, of course, I just just wanted to bring it in, into attention of everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, feel free to ping if you need directly, if you need follow up feedback. It's sometimes hard to track when something is ready to look at again. Yeah, I've been having that trouble too. I've been monitoring these pull requests to, just to make sure that the conversation is moving along and not too much time goes by. Okay, thank you for that topic, Inamar. Sure, thank you. Um, well, uh, what do you say we go right into bug scrub? We can get this done quick. Then we My can, favorite uh... part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Just hide some windows here. Okay. Uh, can Bert API be called outside the KDIS cluster? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'll take this one. I think what is just looking for. Yeah, we, we need more info, but um, I think it's not clear to him that we expose our endpoints through the API server and that they can just be accessed from wherever you have access to the cluster. Okay. Oh. Ah, uh, I made the flag trash.
what is the exact command for this? Um, is that Maybe label? you can find it out, Violet, from the answer. <laughs> I, I don't think it's triage. <laughs> I think that was an early morning flip. We just look bad here. <laughs> is it need info? Need info, maybe, or yeah. or needs information because that's the label name. I don't want to uh, get off onto a tangent here. Yeah, I, I just just adding things. the label. I don't know. Yeah, so I think it's slash triage needs slash information and uh, needs dash information slash triage dash needs information okay needs more info information yeah, so uh, needs information yeah that should be it okay Yay! Got it. <laughs> okay. Next bug. I think You're even if we have no topics at all, just watching us stumbling through issues <laughs> is well, worth joining. I have an excuse because it's very early for me. <laughs> awake since 5 a.m. Okay, please ensure all devices within the IOMMU group are bound to their BFIO bus driver. Let's see. So. I would directly go and give this relic. <laughs> so uh, there could be a few issues. Like I'm not sure how this GPU is assigned. So it could be a configuration issue. or an incompatible the GPU device plugin. I'm not sure if it's the best thing, if it can be used right now. We have to find out. I'll write something there too. Check if SDO tests can be run in parallel. Okay, this is just a developer yeah. task. This is not an issue. Okay. Windows Virtual Machine and Kubert cannot use SROV network. Okay. I just read trash news information, so just that we have the label there. <laughs> we tried already last week. Um, Edward, are no. you still here? Yeah, I think I think you can assign it to all Mergi. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we already did this one. Yeah. 
How did I get into this one in the first place? Oh, sorry. Okay, um, paint or. Okay. We did, we jumped over we jumped over something else like six, seven, twelve. Oh, and it, and can you also uh, mark it as a SIG network so it will be easier for it to see? It. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I... SIG network. Done. So. Thank you, Roman. Okay, um, I think we missed the third new one. What yeah. third? What six, third seven, one? twelve. Six, seven, twelve. I think we were at six, seven, twelve up there, right? I, th I think you jumped oh. over it. Yeah. Sorry. Virtual machine instance cannot start because of vert handler server error. Can't get right permission ready. Oh, it's not a multiple of request alignment. Let's see what version is that. I have to uh, copy out the relevant part. there and I think this is something we can accept it okay and I think I'll ask Jet to have a look wow aligning discs is an item I haven't heard about in a while Just narrow it down. I think it a bit too much. It isn't too relevant. I think we're down to PCI device role tagging. So, oh, Radic self assigned it already. Okay. But maybe we can add trash, trash accept it so that we don't look at it again. I'll do it. Okay. And done. And and I can enhance man.
Okay. Do we want, do we want to look at six six one seven? Focus by you. It, what what do you mean I should do with it? Do we want to open up and look at six six one seven? Uh, I don't know. We should just do it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, this is mostly like with VNC, for instance, not we have we auto detect against available VNC players. Mm -hmm. And they may be good or not good, depending on what you want to do. And we should probably allow people to configure it once so that they don't have to repeatedly deal with our auto selecting doing the wrong thing. And we also have other features now, like which cuttle SSH, where one can may want to specify. Default default identity files or whatever instead of what is open SSH would choose just for this and yeah so it's mostly about convenience for small smaller things okay we'll accept that one. <laughs> You have yourself assigned to it. Okay. Okay. I think that is it. Uh, here's one that's 26 days old. Yeah. What's Let's one? look at 6561. Labeled enhancement. Ah, oh, we have uh, we have a patching mechanism. That's our general answer there. Uh, for two extensive needs. Yeah. Oh, and we have even have a VPR which addresses this with the rollout. So we can answer this in two ways. What was the number? Six, six, five, six, one or six, 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 one? Six, five, six, one. Yeah, I'll answer there. Is that your household, Roman? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like mine. Did you add a comment to 6561?
I think Roman had to step away for a second to deal with a family situation. No, I just oh, muted myself so that you don't hear my family again. <laughs> then I forgot to unmute myself when I up. <laughs> So um, David, no, so. What do we want to do with 6561 then? So I just command it. Um, okay, there you are. No, it's there. Okay. been pretty wild in my household the last couple of days too <laughs> How it's much we... better now the schools are in general open again uh, it was worth worse with corona being more do, an issue do your kids do halloween where you're at mine don't okay uh if we have pounds and pounds or kilos and kilos of candy in the household right now and the kids are just bonkers <laughs> <laughs> like, they literally they like their yeah their <laughs> eyes roll into the back of their heads and they're like little like wild animals <laughs> 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 you can watch the transition between normal kid and <laughs> wildebeest <laughs> <laughs> okay um what do we want to label that uh it's trash accepted maybe also Okay. I mean, it's a value we are actually trying to fix in a pull request exactly what he's describing. So triage accepted may be the right thing. One more oldie but goodie. Looks like we got two more. Who's, who's padding oh. octets with zeros? Again, me. This is in the queue. We have it in the queue, but uh, we did not switch it. Is so maybe trash accepted so that we see that we touched it and okay. then go away again. Last one. Yeah, that's already pretty old. Stu, did you have any trouble uh, building for ARM64? Uh, depends. If I was using uh, cross-compilation uh, from, from AMD64 in the past month, it was problematic. 
I sidestepped that by building directly on the Raspberry Pi that I was. What, what was what was the issue with that? That would be interesting for me because we spent quite some time. Um, um, we spent quite some time on making the cross compilation work, so there should be uh, no to... requirement at all. So, uh, I would have to go back and relook because I was basically just in a hurry and frantic and didn't really stop to file a bug. I assumed it was my issue, not a general issue. Okay. And I have to answer the phone, sorry. Okay. So, okay. I mean, failed fetch normally means just that the external dependency can't be downloaded. Maybe a connection issue, a temporary one, or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're, if you're having trouble with this module, we would definitely be seeing it in CI, correct? At least at some point, yeah. I mean, we cache mm -hmm. everything, but but yes, at some point, so the cache gets evicted periodically. So we would see it at some point. Very likely related to local connectivity issues. Also, we worked quite a bit on that part. So maybe there was really an issue and it's just resolved now, could also be. Everyone good with needs information? Yes, sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. Copy paste. Yeah. Usually I do this in the background while you do the bug scrubbing. All right, I think that's it. Awesome. Unless we want to do another old one from September 7th. Yeah, this is going to be, this is works like expected. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the, it's, that's a UEFI problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. The good news is that in most cases, no one would have such small VMs anyway, mm. most of the time. But. Yeah, we, we don't know what ARM is up to though. They may want these. These small well, VMs. this yeah, the small VMs that is coming, but that is coming yeah. from our demo Yamas. Heck, they could be <laughs> running uh, virtual machines on like automotive ECMs, where there's only you know one gigabyte of total memory on the system. Can you imagine virtual machines running on the on the computer that's driving your your car? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds scary. Yeah. Yeah, like that's that's industrial control system. 
that's like that's a whole nother level of, of computing. So there there is a there is a PR6639. Maybe we want to link it because it at oh. least to the to, to the yeah. It at least one? tries to provide an example which is supposed to work out of the box. <laughs> okay. So let's see. What poll was that again? I, I, oh, added, the, I added it to the oh. chat. Let's just see. The at link. I'm I'm not doing well this morning. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just copy pasting them normally works fine. The UI the GitHub UI is then shortening it for you. You can paste the whole link if you click on preview. Okay. It's fine. Uh oh, not here. <laughs> what is this screen? <laughs> there we go. That is not okay. a good link, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had it with the uh, with the pound six six three nine. Yeah, this is right. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. God, I did the same thing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Told you so. Okay, I think it would be okay for me if we stop at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sounds good. That was an excellent bug scrub. Okay, uh, we will close down the meeting. Thank you, everybody, for joining. We'll see you next week. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.